<clears throat> hey, what is up guys? Alex here from thetechnoclass.com. Just going to give you a quick uh, sort of tutorial on how to create blurred borders uh, to change the aspect ratio of a picture without losing any cropping it. Um, this is popular with like Instagram stuff, but you know, uh, I need this, uh, I need to use this picture right here on my website, but my, but my website's featured image wants it on about 16 by 9 or actually 16 by like 8, uh, but I usually make a 16 by 9. So here we have a uh, Vita game that I want to put as a feature image, uh, but it is the sort of a vertical orientation, was this like 3, or, three is to 5 or something. Uh, what you want to do is first... Uh, let's scale it. Let's make it into a uh, 1920. Actually, you could do with a 720, like a 1280. Well, let's do 1920. Uh, let's just scale it for now, make it a bigger image. And then uh, I'm using uh, GIMP, by the way. This is a free to, free to use uh, editor, canvas size. Now you go to canvas size, you un unclick the, the link. And make the height 1080, all right? And then once the uh, the effect happens here, uh, I click center, so it crops into the center right there. So we now we have a uh, big widescreen version of the old uh, cover. Now what you want to do is just um, filter it, blur, Gaussian blur, and just give it whatever you want. I usually get 40 um, horizontal vertical to make it a little bit more blurry. There we go. And just uh, get your image again. Drop it on GIMP again. There we go. Now we want this at 1080 vertical now. So 1080 scale. Remember the, the, to use the, uh, the chain to make it scale in ratio. Select um, all. I think I've selected all already. And then edit copy. I'll just prop, prop it in here. Bam. All right. So now you have your 16 by 9. It's, it could be better. You could do more like um, you could filter it more, maybe like in shadow, uh, lower the brightness. That Those are the ones that are usually pretty good. You just add a, a little bit of a filter to make it stand out, make the front stand out a little bit. You can add, uh, for example, if you add this, you can add shadows behind it, make it look nice. But yeah, that's it for now. Uh, just save this guy, and now you have a 16 by 9 image uh, with a bit of a tasteful, you know, side image. You know, the, just just a border. So when other people have different monitors or different ways to interpret images, they wouldn't look at a bad, boring image. All right? Thanks for watching. Alex from thetechnoclass.com here. See you guys next time.